made the game Dream Machine game. And I'm uh, Anders Gustafsson. I'm the game designer of the game machine. Me and Anders uh, met when we, were, uh, we went to animation school a couple of years ago. I made a short uh, children's film, stop motion animation. Uh, I was working in commercials uh, for sports shoe companies and Eric was running a stop motion animation uh, studio. After a while we wanted to make a game and this is how we kind of fused our our talents together. We got really fed up with our day jobs and uh, you know, I thought that was must be something more to life. We had some menial jobs and we wanted to do something that had a lot of soul and a lot of heart. So that's why we started the Green Machine. We went back to our childhood, building things by hand, uh, just making... It didn't make business sense or any no. logic sense or grown-up sense. It, it's, it's this childish passion uh, that we both have. It's a game that starts off with uh, you moving into a new apartment with your pregnant wife. You have to have the first romantic breakfast together and then you get acquainted with the neighbors and uh, explore the apartment and the building. And after a while uh, it trickles in that something isn't quite right about the building. There's something going on and you have to find out uh, what that is and uh, eventually who, who's behind it and how do we stop them. But uh, seeing people play the game how they interact with it, uh, that's uh, such a huge uh, thrill for me still. I, I've seen uh, hundreds of people play the game and I still, uh, I'm, st I'm still giddy when I, when I watch somebody play it and, and solve a puzzle and get the, that uh, aha experience and the, the rush of uh, feeling smart. I, I really love that. Our development situation is, uh, most of the time it's really good. Uh, I mean, we can have this kind of relationship despite that we live 300 kilometers from each other. I mean, we spend a lot of time on Skype sending stuff back and forth until we agree on something. Andres, uh, I mean, he sends me a general idea of the graphics that I should design for that week, and then we just, you know, it's back and forth until we find something really, it's kind of organic. We don't have a fixed idea. This is what it should be. We, you know, we're feeling our way. The thing that we're struggling the most with is just keeping our energy and, you know, forward momentum. So we work really hard for a short period of time, and then it slows down, and then we gain, you know, pace again. So it would be nice to have a more even, but we've, we've been doing this for two years now, so. I think a big problem is that uh, we're only two people on the team, and we, work, we both work from our homes, basically. So uh, we need this uh, boost of energy that we get from going to these type of conventions and meeting people that like the game, yeah. enjoy the game. That, that's a huge help because if you just sit in your apartment and, and stare at the screen all the time, it's, you, you get lost in the woods. It's, uh, There's a lot of woods now, in, in yeah, Sweden. A lot of woods Pine in Sweden. forest is huge, man. You could easily get lost yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. That would drive you crazy. I spend uh, more time in front, sitting in front of the screen in my underwear yeah. than it's I uh, spend talking to people. And that's a, it's not a healthy situation. I sh should get out more, I guess. Yeah, if we win money, actually, we could buy more clay and make ourselves girlfriends. <laughs> How to play. We're considering that actually, so we have... It's the best thing ever. Yeah. I think my advice for uh, an aspiring game designer is to go with the stupid ideas. Yeah. Don't censor yourself. Uh, go with ideas that don't make no sense at all, especially if they make no sense from a business perspective. Those are usually the ideas you should you should go for and develop. Yeah, you more. should dare make to make really yeah. crappy games. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and keep your integrity, goddammit. Try to focus on your own ideas and, you know, own concepts and don't be too nervous about what the industry or what, the, what's, what, what, what defines a cool game today. I mean, look inside yourself. What do you find?